Hello everyone, this is Howling Wolf. Here gonna give you my selections. For March 9th, 2019. The track that I'm gonna give you it is at Tampa Bay. It is race 11. The Tampa Bay Derby. Going a mile and 1 16th on the dirt. For a $400,000 purse. And points for the Kentucky Derby. We got a field of 11 running. I'm going to give you my two top selections plus the horse to watch. My top choice is going to be the number four Dream Maker. Dream Maker, it more like odds is at 4-1, to one, is by Tappet out of a Monarchos Mare. Last time ran was February 9th at the fairgrounds and allowance optional claiming $50,000 non-winners of one. Had to go four wide and then into turn just rode out was stretched out by five lengths and near the finish line was almost by line lengths. So it was a confidence booster and see how that horse was running. The time before that was October 6th at Keeneland in the Breeders' Cup Fraternity. Grade 1 got bumped around a lot and just got clipped. So it had no chance at all to win at that race. So that last race in February was uh, see how it would run and see if it would had the ability to get up in into a p good placing and give it confidence for Mark to run it here. So I believe with this one, like I said, it was the confidence booster to run at the allowance 50,000. It, it has the little... It's running the same distance at a higher level, up in class a bit. It did be be ran, running against some horses that are going to be running in New York the same day. From what I see here, is if he could get it out enough, not too far out, but far enough that Florent Giroux should be able to get this horse into great positioning to come up for a good win. The times that worked out was February 23rd. Did in four furlongs and 47.8 seconds. Breezing was the best out of 111 workouts that day. The time before, after that, it did in March 2nd. Four furlongs and 49.49 seconds was the 26th out of the... 87 workouts that day. So again, for my top selection for the for the Tampa Bay Derby is the number four Dream Maker at four to one. My second choice is the number six Outshine. Outshine morning line odds is at eight to one. Is by Malibu Moon out of a unbridled song mare. Last time ran at at Goldstream at seven furlongs. And allowance optional claiming seventy five thousand. A little tougher field than what the four ran. Came in first with but John Velasquez aboard. Went had to go four wide and at the turn and drove clear at the lane. So was straight up clear and then right down that stretch of nearer the finish line. Won it by two lengths. Time before that ran a June eighth, a five and a half furlongs, in the Treadmont Stakes, one hundred and fifty thousand. Went four wide again in the upper and had no, had no response to no, no running ability. Didn't want to run. So with this little stretch out, should help. For, it has the ability and it has the. Pedigree for longer than seven furlongs, so this should help. A plus also is getting Joe Rosario coming from California, which will be staying in the eastern side after what's happened in California here with uh, Santa Anita closed out for a while until they figure out what's going on with the track. So, from what I see there, is with Joe Rosario board. From getting Velasquez is a good plus. 
they both run the same type of this, the same type of running, ride the horses, just about the same. Staying with them aboard, staying in the mid pack will help. Not too far out because it's a longer distance. You may want to see him in a little more mid pack from what I'm seeing. And with that, he should be coming up a good late strong kick and win it by at least maybe two to three lengths if anything goes wrong with the other horses. So again for my second choice, it is the number six outshine at eight to one. My horse to watch is the number 11. The number 11 is Zenden. Morning line adds at 8 to 1 is by Fizzbiz out of a sharp humor mare. Last time he ran was at Goldstream Park in March and February 2nd on the Swale Stakes. Got, had to go three wide, was in the bid, in the up around the stretch. That turn was coming up good for a good, came up a good second behind Call Paul. So it knows that it could run maybe a little more of a stretch out this race. You'll probably see him up closer. The time before that ran on December 8th at Goldstream Park in the Buffalo Man Stakes. Dueled. <laughs> And went up and ran out around that turn and was up for the lead down the, down the turn. So you may want to see him see that where he's maybe trying to do the same type of run in this race from what he did in that race. So what I'm seeing here, Sammy Camacho is aboard it. And with the jockey trainer combination, they're around 25%. The trainer on the dirt is at the distance in the surface is at 30%. So it's a great way to, uh, with that, you may see this horse in a great position, maybe back in fourth or fifth, laying out with all these other horses. Since it's going to be out in the pack, it's going to be trying to go in a bit. So it doesn't have to use so much ground until it gets to that turn and maybe find the room to go up for a great win. So again for my horse to watch. In the Tampa Bay Derby. It is the number 11. Send in at 8 to 1. Again my top selection is the number 4. Dream Maker at 4 to 1. My second choice is the number 6. Outshine at 8 to 1. And remember everyone. When you're cashing with the wolf. It's how time. Good luck, everyone. Let's make that money.